I don't have enough time to explain what's going on, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere not home, okay? Um, I, can't, I can't say anymore, I can't say anymore right now, but uh, you, I guess just watch this. You, I'll explain everything tomorrow, okay? that mic can hear that. This helps me sync it up later. So actually just talk to this camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then start with the intro again. Okay. We'll Same like yeah, just, where we are. Yeah, and what you're, what you're showing us. And then you can just go right into it. So I'm ready whenever you are. Perfect. Hi, my name is Erin Jesse. We're at the Allard Center YMCA in the climbing gym. And today I'm gonna show you the difference between a static move and a dynamic move. All right, so a static move is when you're gonna keep your body com almost completely still and move from one hold to another. So again, one hold to another. And a dynamic move is when you really gotta get some momentum going. So I'm gonna go up for that pink hold up there. I'm gonna swing and almost jump. Come on in and we'll show you how to do it. Cool, what, uh, what are some of the the benefits of like, why know that? Why does that matter? Yeah, so um, when you do a dynamic move, it's gonna help if the hold is far away. Um, and if you've got, especially if it's like a really good hold, so if it's really big and juggy, you can really get your hand into it, it's going to be better and conserve more energy than if you do a static move. Whereas if you do a static move, it might be because the hold is small and you want to be really precise about where you're going. Um, or it might just be close enough where you can reach out and get it. Perfect. Awesome.